Hello and welcome to the sixth tutorial in the Cocos 2 DX C++ physics series and in this part we're going to be looking at static objects versus dynamic objects. We'll be using the base code from the previous tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to a source code. So, a static object is one that doesn't move when forces are applied to it, whereas a dynamic object, which is what we've been looking at so far, will move with forces and gravity, etc. Static objects are great for stuff like the bricks in a brick breaker game. We've got a game like Glow Break, called Glow Break, and it, the, the, the link in the description so you can check it out. And the ball could be dynamic uh, object as it moves around the scene and bounces off objects in the game environment. Also, other game objects such as a, such as the ground on a scrolling game could be a static object because you can change the position of it by explicitly setting the position but you can't apply force here then when stuff collide it just stays where it is so what we're going to do just open up our project one thing to note by default our physics body in Cocos 2 dx is dynamic but this can be changed very easily so first of all ooh, I did it again need to run this in older Xcode Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just run it so you can actually see a dynamic object, which you've seen before, but just to show you the difference visually. Okay, as you can see, it's falling with gravity, and this is a dynamic object. But just to change it, all you gotta do is sprite body set dynamic, and we're just gonna put false because it's true by default. And now, if we run this, what you'll get is the sprite that'll be centered in the screen and it's not moving with gravity and to illustrate this a little more what we're going to do we're going to duplicate the sprite one going to be dynamic one's going to be static but the dynamic one we're going to set its position just above the static one so when it collides it'll bounce off but it won't actually move the static object. As you can see, it's bouncing, but the static object is staying where it is. That is it for static objects versus dynamic objects. In the next part of this series, we're gonna look at collision detection. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.